Hello, once again, my name is Brother McGill, and we are back with another lesson. Well, it is what we call word recovery, you know, right? Something that helps you to, you know, in the everyday life that we live in, it's so bad out here, so much violence, so much hatred, no love out here no more, no common courtesy, all this stuff is without the window. So, just bring you some words of comfort, try to help you through your everyday life, you know, right? Strictly what the Bible says, not what I say or anybody else say, but what the Bible says. And before we begin, I'd like to say thank you once again for those who actually drew in to listen, hear the word of God. And I pray that you keep on staying fast in God's word, never give up, keep on studying, studying God's word, and keep on staying in the faith, like the Bible tells us to. And I pray also for those out here going through a terrible time with coronavirus who killing a lot of people out here. It's it's so terrible, you know, what's going on right now. You know, I mean, loss of lives. People love was or uh, went, through, went through their demise, excuse me. Then you got people out here who are uh, going through a terrible time about paying their bills and you know, are struggling out here. This, the, the everyday life, they're going through a lot. And it's so terrible out here, it really is, you know, right? And I, I feel so bad and I'm so sorry to hear all these things, what's going on, but please stay strong, don't never give up, don't ever give up, don't let the people out here tell you anything, not what the Bible telling you. All the internet, it's like a big circus now, all the people coming out saying all these things, not what the Bible says, because I do hear, and I do listen, and I'm and I, I like, oh man, I cannot believe this. So please stay strong and never give up on your eternal soul. Don't ever give up. And uh, before we begin uh, with, with words of comfort, my brother, we'd like to open up in a word of prayer for you, please. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thank, thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, we come to you once again on this day. Yes, Just do, thank Lord. you for what you have presented to us, Lord. Another opportunity to come and partake in your word, Lord. Yes, um, Lord. Lord, I thank you for allowing us to be able to come together on this day. There's so yes, many things Lord. that are going on that, that we know of. We, we see the news. We try to shut it out. Um, we hear it from others. Um, we see it on the streets, yes. Lord. Um, but yet we know that you are almighty and you are all faithful and you're all good and we just love you for that and yes. we reach out to you to, to catch your word so that um, we know how to handle these situations Lord. Not that we know how to handle them, but we know that it's all in your hands Lord. So may we continually go to you to seek out your word and sure. um, you know seek out your guidance yes. Lord. So as we come today Lord um, uh, to hear your words of comfort Lord, um, may we open up our minds and our hearts so that we can receive the word Lord and be able to move forward in it, Lord. Lord, yes. once again, I just want to thank you. I thank you for those that are here, those that are uh, online that will be uh, receiving this word, Lord. Yes. Um, may it touch their heart and um, uh, be received in love, Lord. Lord, so I just thank you on this day. Uh, in your son, yes. Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. I like my brother was saying, all right, don't believe me either. We get online, don't believe me either. No, right? Get the Bible, all right? And study with me, you know, right? Study with the, uh, the, uh, the verses. Study with me. Don't believe me either, you know, right? Study the Word of God, you know, right? The verses are right here. Study the Word of God. So, brother, hey, thank you, you know, right? Have you, have you remember, you know, right? You know, right? Hey, because there's a lot of deceiving people out here right now don't care about your soul. All that they care about is money. They care about votes. They care about views. They care about anything. They care about, they care about this world. They don't care about their eternal soul. And which I, which I see this each and every day. And the reason why I say this, excuse me, because I see it on the internet. Now, let's begin with the words of comfort. Turn with me to uh, 1 John chapter 3, that's 7 through 24. That is 1 John chapter 3, 7 to 24. Once again, that is First John chapter three, seven through twenty-four. We all have it here, and it reads: Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon uh, bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew Him not. Beloved, not. Uh, now are we the sons of God, 
and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that we, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall, excuse me, see him as he is. Excuse me. Is that First John or is that John? That's First John chapter three. Mm -hmm. I was just, I didn't say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No problem. With little children. Maybe I, maybe I got it wrong. I don't know. That's First John chapter First, three, seven to twenty-four. First John chapter three, mm -hmm. verse seven says, "Little children, let no man deceive you." Sure I do. Now, see what I'm saying? What? We all make. Thank you, sister. You know, we all make mistakes. You got it right, I right? We was trying to stop you before you got to read too. <laughs> I, I made a mistake. No problem at all. It happens. Thank yeah, you for you know, yeah. correcting me. You know, I, it reads, that's First John chapter 3, 7 to 24, and it reads, Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that, uh, he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sent it for the beginning, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God do not commit sin, for his seed remained in him, which is the word of God, Luke tells us that. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. And this the children of God are manifest as the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is a message that ye have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of the wicked one, and slew his own brother, and wherefore slew him, because he his own works were evil, and brothers righteousness. More but not, my brother, and the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hated his brother, excuse me, whosoever hated his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer have an eternal life abide in him. Hereby receive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our life for the brethren. For whosoever has th uh, for whosoever hath this world's good, and seeing his brother have need, and shut up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? I'll just stop right there real fast. Look what's we're going on right now. People out here going through so much. They need money, they need food, they need this, they need this, they need that. But you know what? People have shut their bowels of compassion up. Mm -hmm. That's why, how dwelling the love of God in you? You know what I'm saying? How dwelling the love of God in that person? You see people out here hurting. You know this is an honest true story. When I saw this lady two days ago, standing on the street corner, I don't know if it was her kids or not, but she has some kids with her. And when I saw that, that was so terrible. And a sign asking for help. That's so terrible. She didn't like she was beat up or nothing like that. It's like she just needed help. You know what I mean? And most people see on a, a, a street corner like they on drugs or been drinking or something like that. But it's like she just needed help. And that was so terrible when I saw that. You know what I mean? And you know, but like the Bible said, how dwell in the love of God in you? You see your brother need help. Oh, you got you got the world's good out here. You know what I mean? You can help the person out. But you know what? I ain't trying to help you. How dwell in the love of God in you? You know what I'm saying? Like you need food, shelter, clothing. No, I'm not doing the love of God in you. You see what's going on right now to this day? It's terrible. It's yeah. supposed to be the richest country in America, and it's, it's like one of the poorest. Yeah, like, don't, care. I mean, don't, care about, don't care about the next man. Don't care about your brother. Don't care about him. Oh, do we care about the votes? No, it's terrible. Oh, we care about uh, uh, getting back in the office. No, that's all they care about, this world. All they care about is themselves, you know right? Basically this world, you know right? And try to manipulate and try to get all the people they can to follow them. And that's what Satan does. But remember what it says right here, for those here and those out there, you know right? How dwelling the love of God in you? If you can't blame that, you can't help your own brother out. Think about that, you know right? Yeah, there's, and, you know, my, there's, um, 
what I've been reading lately is in Genesis, you uh-huh. know, and um, I'm reading about Joseph and how, <clears throat> you know, the Pharaoh made him the ruler over the land, and he was to take care of, um, you know, the, there was a famine coming, and he knew about it because he had dreamt about it, or at least the um, Pharaoh had dreamt about it, and he interpreted the dream, and so he told him to take care of it, you know, yeah. to make sure he puts food aside and what have you, and so when famine comes, he would be the one that would handle that, you know, so the people would come to him and there would be food available. Yeah. But the thing is, is that as you're talking about it, you have to have that that love for people, right, and you have to you have to you have to be concerned with someone more than just yourself. That's it. You know, and with what we see today, um, at least the example that we have, you know, in the highest office, although that office is not something for us to um, bow down to, yeah. but it is um, a position that we're to get some kind of example from, That's you know, it. in terms of you, you, these are the people of this land, and, and you don't let them, so to speak, fend for themselves. You know, whether it's the coronavirus, whether it's, you know, there's no jobs or uh, money and things like that. I mean, you can't help everybody in the sense of giving them a $1,000 a day, but you have to have some kind of compassion and work to, together to try and make things better. That's it. I mean, mm-hmm. say it like this. I'm, I'm saying like this. This is what I, I, I grew this. When I read this right here, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. like that. Evidently, you ain't following the Bible in office. Evidently, you don't know what the Bible says in office. You ain't following the Bible, you know. Like, if to me, if you follow the Bible, you know. You, I think I have my brothers out, yeah. my brothers, my kin folks. I can have them out. If you all follow the Word of God, evidently you ain't following the Word of God, you know. Like, or you don't believe the Word of God. One and two. I mean, I don't know that. I don't know what's going on in office. Nothing like other than what I see, you know. Like, sure. And that's where I can, you know, I can talk about it. Uh, and what I see is it's terrible. <laughs> You know, and I go, I see somebody out here who, I don't care, you was a drug addict or something like that, but you hungry, trust me, I got money, I'm going to feed you. That's just me. That's just me. I mean, that's just how I am. You know, that's how I am because the Bible, uh, Jesus tells us to do that. You know, right? And yeah. that is how my heart is because I love what? My brother. Yeah. yeah. All right? That's just terrible. So you might have more questions. We had uh, verse uh, 18. Thank you. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. You know what I said? Don't no, somebody tell me that you love me. You know, right? Oh, we this, we that, we that, we that, we that. You know, right? We are one nation, whatever, whatever. One nation. I'm telling you, but you ain't showing, you ain't showing me nothing. You know, right? mm-hmm. Don't tell me that. For what it says right here again, it says, little, My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed. Show me that you love me. Show me that you care about me. That goes a long way. Just by, just by the saying, you right? Because words don't do nothing. It says, and indeed, uh, in, but indeed, and in truth. And in truth. And that's what true. does that mean? And indeed, in truth. Because what? The word of God is what? The truth. Yeah. Jesus Christ said, the word is the truth. Right? Mm-hmm. If you got the word in you, right? It also says in the uh, book of Timothy, mm-hmm. the, uh, the word of God is a pillar and a ground of the truth. Right? Mm-hmm. You got the truth in you, you got the word of God and you got love in you. Right? That way you help your fellow man out. Right? Mm-hmm. What that mean? Right? You got the truth. You got the uh, Jesus Christ said the word is the truth. Gospel John seventy seventeen. And you got the word in you, the truth. Mm-hmm. You're not enjoying the truth as you love them, right? Mm-hmm. You're not playing games. Like you take love strictly from the heart. And you do all you can. Like you said earlier, you can't have everybody out. No, you can't have everybody out. No, right? but you go out here trying the best that you can. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do the best that you can. No, right? And then I don't see that. No, right? and I hate to see a lot of people going through what they're going through right now. It's terrible, mm-hmm. and it's very terrible. But like I say again, no, right? I do do what God have us to do out there. For those out there, do what God have you to do. Do God have what you what He wants you to do. Do what God wants you to do. Not what some uh, not what some people out here tell you what to do. Do what God wants you to do. Okay, we had uh, uh, verse twenty nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, thank you. And hereby we know that we are of the truth. So I'm saying, mm-hmm. and show and show our hearts before Him. For if all if our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our heart. And know it all things. Beloved, if our hearts condemn us not, then have we confidence toward with God. 
Verse 22. And who said, and what said we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Now, and this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another. He gave us a commandment. You got to believe on the name of the Son, Jesus Christ. What are we supposed to believe in? The name of the Son, Jesus Christ. His name is the word of God, but you probably believe on the name of the Son, Jesus Christ. And he that keepeth his commandments dwell in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abided in us by the Spirit which he had given us. Okay, why? You are actually doing what God wants you to do. You're following Christ mm -hmm. by his following Christ by his word. You know that God said, you know things gonna happen, which I'm I'll show you that a little bit, but you follow Christ, you really follow Christ, you know, you do what God has you to do. Right. All right. You ain't go out here doing something that's, that, that's of Satan, okay? You commit sin, you, you are who? Satan, right? The Bible says that. You are of Satan. But you are God, I mean, you follow Christ, you really follow Christ by the word, you know, right? And you right. try to grow. That's it. You might have a question with that. Uh, first Thessalonians chapter 2, 13. And remember now, we supposed to believe on the name of the Son of Jesus Christ. This is a word of comfort. We supposed to believe on the name of the Son of Jesus Christ. Uh, look at first, uh, first Thessalonians two thirteen. Can you see me the first, please? Mm -hmm. First Thessalonians. I think I brought that again. That's first Thessalonians two thirteen. That's first Thessalonians chapter two and first thirteen. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when you received the word of God, which you heard of us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. <laughs> what we put to do, we put to leave on the name of the Son of God, right? Mm -hmm. And the word of God, you do have what? Believe, right? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Say it like this. Say it like this. Okay. How's this question? If I get on an airplane, that means I'm about to do what? Take a trip. I'll fly the air, right? Mm -hmm. We have common sense to know that, right? Mm -hmm. That's common sense, right? Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us the word of God works with those that believe. That means I need to have what in me? The word. So I can be so I can be what? I so I can do what? Believe, right? <laughs> That's just common sense. And it's common, and you have conscience to know this. I get on an airplane. And when I get on the airplane, we about to, I'm about to fly. Okay. In the air. Okay. And the Bible tells the word of, the, so if the Bible tells us, if you got conscience to know that, and the Bible says the word of God works in those that believe, that means I gotta have the word of God in me to what? Believe. Mm -hmm. That is common sense. All right? But see, some of the uh, some of the stuff you hear still do, uh, you, uh, you uh, uh, on this uh, internet, I promise you, they don't teach this. Not at all. I mean, not at all. You see what that brother said? I was sitting there watching it, right? I listened to it like, whoa, come on now, right? See? I'm like, man. I saw it. <laughs> if you really care about your eternal soul, just follow the word of God, what the word of God say. That's all I got to say. Now, that is common sense. And the word of God works with those that believe in the word of God in you. Okay, look at Matthew chapter uh, uh, 4. Matthew chapter 4. That is Matthew chapter 4, verse, let's start at verse 1 through 4. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. I ain't put that up there. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. And. So let's get there. We have it? Mm hmm I can wait. Mm hmm Okay. Once again, that's Matthew chapter 4, chapter 4, 1 through 4. Have it? Then what Jesus led up of uh, the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, uh, okay. He was at the words and hunger. And when the tempter came to see him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command 
that thee stole be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Mm. Did Christ say that? Mm. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So, the word of God works for those that believe. If I had a word, so if I live by every word out the mouth of God, I put it like they say this way, if I live by every uh, live by every word out the mouth of God, then I'm what? Believe, right? right. That's it. If I live by every, I mean I had to know the word of God and live by it, right? Yeah. That's it. And Jesus Christ says this. <laughs> Jesus Christ says it, you know, right? That I have to have the word of God in me to live by every word out the mouth of God. Mm-hmm. Then Pause for one second. Then, for those out there, for those in here, then you will know when bad things happen, like going on right now in this world, you can stay with God no matter what. You got the Word of God in you. God is in you. And God is protecting you. He loves you. He cares for you. He's protecting you. You know what? And keeping you strong. But you got to stay in the Word of God to stay strong. And you keep there for you. You know what? When things, bad things start happening, and this it feel like it's no hope out here. Right here, there's hope right here in the Word of God. Let me show you right now. Let's, uh, let's go to First Peter. That's First Peter, chapter three, and verse eight through seventeen. That is First Peter, First Peter, chapter eight. First Peter, chapter three. I'm sorry. First Peter chapter uh, three at eight through seventeen. We all have it. Mm-hmm. That's First Peter chapter three eight through seventeen. And it read: Finally, be ye of one mind, having compassion one on another. Love as brother, be pitiful, be courteous. Not render evil for evil, or railing for railing, but counterwise, blessing, knowing that ye are there are two called that ye should inherit a blessing. For he that will love light and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Let him ensure evil and do good. Let him seek peace and show it. So just stop for a second. So uh, you see what's going on right here? All this stuff going on here, people tearing up this stuff. That's all evil. Lying, backbiting, all that. Beating up people. We, we saw that on the, on the, on the uh, 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 internet. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on. That's evil. I see Satan loves that. Keep on following me. Yeah, come on. That ministry Satan, he loves that company. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cause once I go to once I go to hell because Jeff Day, you're gonna follow right behind me. Trust me. He loves that evil. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. He loves it. Verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open uh, unto their prayers. For the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? So I'm saying, no, if you got the word of God, you follow God by his word, you are good. I mean, you follow that which is good. No, you ain't worried about nothing. You ain't worried about nothing. You know things are going to happen. You're going to know they're you know they going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. And you're going to get, you get upset. But God is in you, you know what? He show you how to overcome that. Overcome that. He show you how to overcome that. Mm-hmm. By the word of God. And he's inside of you. Yeah. By the word of God. He shot, he helped me. You know what I mean? Because the Bible, Jesus Christ said, it rains on the just and the unjust. That means it rains on the evil and the good. Bad thing happened to the good, to the evil yeah. as well. So he helped you to understand that. But we got to make sure that we in the word of God to understand that. Not fly out the hand of Susan. Oh, I'm going crazy. You know what? I'm tearing this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. You know what? Oh, I don't like him in the Washington. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. No, you don't do that. Okay, God will take care of everything. And we really, really trust and believe in him. 
You know, I mean, that's something that I learned myself, too. I mean, I'm not without fault either, you know what I'm saying? I learned myself, too, right? And I'm growing in patience each and every day. Each and every day, I'm trying to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow, you know what? In God's word, it helps me. But, but the, the thing is about it is I try. I try. I don't just sit there. I try. I say, I can't not do this. I try. We got to try. We got to stay in the word. We got to try. This is words of comfort. You gotta try. Don't sit there with kind of bad thing going on happening. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. I'm not doing nothing. No, you gotta try. You really care about your eternal soul, if you really care. Mm -hmm. Let's keep on reading. Verse 14. But if you suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their uh, terror, neither be troubled. See what I'm saying? Neither be, uh, don't, don't, be, uh, don't be troubled with their terror. But sanctify, that means set apart the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that's in you with meekness and fear. Okay. How can I give an answer to somebody about the word of God if I don't know it? You can't. You can't. Now back then I couldn't, you know what? Come ask me now, I bet you I could, you know what? Strong believer in Christ is his word. Strong believer, you right? know See, that's what I boast in. I boast in God about that. And thank you, God, about that. Not boast about other stuff you see on the <laughs> other stuff you see on the internet, you know, like such as me and that other stuff you see on the internet. No, I boast in God what He have done for me. That's why I boast. I ain't doing it myself. God done it, you know, right? That's what you that's why I boast in, you know, right? Speak the word of God, that's why I boast in. Yeah. Not boast out here about this, or boast with something I see. I like, man, I cannot believe it. Yeah. You, that's, why, that's, that's how you know. Uh, sister, and, and that, that's how you know these people are not following God. Mm -hmm. That's how you know that. Because this tells you, right? And then you ain't following God. That's how you know. You don't think you're all that. You don't think you're all that. You don't know it all, nothing like that. You know that kind of this. And you know something's wrong. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know it. It helps you understand something's not right. And you know that. But this world is out there. Uh, anybody crush with that? And close. Go to Romans with me. Romans chapter 12. This is a good one. Romans chapter 12, 17 to 21. That's Romans chapter 12, 17 to 21. <laughs> He did evil. I don't turn around and do evil back. God, that person do evil. I don't turn around and do evil back. You know, do that. What the Bible teaches. Because if he do evil, he's a what? Satan. If you start doing evil, then you're a what? Satan. Right? <laughs> yeah. And to say what? Loves that. <laughs> he loves that. That's it. You don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Uh, Provided things honest in the sight of man. Be honest. Be real. Be upfront. Be strong, right? Be honest. He said sugarcoat it. No, he said lie to him. He said what? We talked about that today, remember? Be honest. Be honest with the be honest with the person. Because trust me, that goes a long way. Yeah. You might not want to hear the truth, but I want to tell you the truth. Right. And see, I know some people get stiff neck. They get hard headed, they get pig headed, you know right? But be honest. That's the only way. I had to hear, I had to hear the truth of myself too to find God. Yes, did it bother me? Yes, it bothered me. Heard it, but yet that's the only way I found God. I had to hear the truth. Cause I was like I was still following Satan until I heard the truth of God. What well, I had to hear? It. You gotta do this. You gotta do this. You gotta do this. I had to hear. It. 
that's just like I say again. That's what that, that's what I think said about it too, uh, for the pride, to proud of it. Uh, something like that. The way they want you can't copy the person. Uh, so I think proud that they proud of their own achievement. But I think uh, pride for the pride. You can't tell them they want here. They want here. Come on. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Who's like who's like that? Something like that. Everybody got cast out of heaven. He want here and leave it. God tried to tell us, so I'm, I'm do what I want to do. And with that, he got cast out. <laughs> Satan, oh, okay. he got cast out. He was he, he was something up there. He got cast out. Mm-hmm. He tried to tell him, I don't want to do this. So, okay, all right. <laughs> well, that's where we get. Uh, verse uh, 18. Romans 18. Oh, yeah. Verse 18. 18. 18. 18. Uh-huh. Okay. If it's possible, as much as lying in you, Live peacefully with all men. Dearly beloved, and bid not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vision is mine, I will be paid, said the Lord. Go out here and do all this silly stuff going on right now. God said, I will be paid. Mm-hmm. I will be paid. Vision is mine, said the Lord, I will be paid. So, if you, if you uh, look at this, Please remember something. The vengeance is mine, said the Lord, I will be paid. Anybody say something totally different from what the Bible say, then trust me, you follow the man and his commandments and not God and his commandments. Trust me on that. Okay, first uh, 20. Therefore, if thy enemy hungry, feed him. All right? You know what I'm saying? People out here on the streets. You know, I need help. Man, I don't care. You're a drug gang. What? That's on you. But you know what? If I got my own body, something. You know what? That's just me. Yeah. If you have thirst, give him to drink. For it, it for in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. That means that that means that person should uh win that person. See what I'm saying? To get it, he might change his way of thinking. You know what? If he be good, if show him love. You know what? He might change. He might change his way of thinking out here. You know what? Said, go out here and keep doing the same thing. I'm the person. I'm the person. What do you care about me? Verse 21. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. So all the other stuff going out here right now, trust me, you overcome evil with good. You never let evil dwell in your human body. You overcome evil with good. You stay strong each and every day. You never give up. And so let no one take nothing different when it comes to the word of God. Say it again. You stay strong. Don't go out here, go out, do a, go out here, do a silly things. Hurtful things. Say hurtful things. Go out here and not love your brother. That's not love your brother if you go out here attacking them. Yeah. Tear it up so that's not love at all. And I don't care what color they are. There's not no love for your brother at all. You go out here and do anything that's not of God, you do something that's of who? Satan, right? Love one another. Care for one another. No matter how bad this world gets, always stay strong with God. Always stay strong with God. And once again, I'll say this again. If God allowed bad things to happen to his son, common sense will tell you bad things are going to happen to us. That is plain common sense. And if Satan tip. The Son of God, to worship him, common sense should tell you that he's going to try to tip us to do the exact same thing. That is plain common sense. So you got to stay strong and never give up. Mm-hmm. I, don't care. I don't care what's going on in your world, you never give up. Anybody have any questions? Okay. Once again, for those out there, if I go in prayer, I would like to say, we're going through the virus, who are struggling financially, I like to say, stay strong. I'm so sorry to hear it, just but stay strong. Keep in prayer, stay in the word of God, and, and, and I keep your trust in God. Never give up on nothing. Never give up. The God, He will be there. He's there. He will be there. But you got, but you got to keep your trust in God. Never give up. Don't fall. Don't fall. Like I said, He wants you to fall. He wants you to fall. Never give up. He wants you to just to fall. And what He wants you to do? Is give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. He'll keep on coming after you. You give up. But stay strong. Let's go to a word of prayer. 
Gracious Father, the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, uh, once again we come to you and thank you for allowing us to come together, dear Lord, with this word and comfort yes, through your word, Father God, the true meaning of your divine holy word. And we just pray, dear Lord, for those out there, those who are here, that who heard, who heard your word, Father God, that it would bring some type of closure to them, dear Lord, what happened, dear Lord, in everyday life, dear Lord. We pray, Father God, they stay in the word of God and grow in the word of God and never give up on it. On their eternal soul, dear Lord. So we pray you help them in bad times, bless them in good times, dear Lord. Watch over, protect them, keep them safe the only way that you can. Have them understand, dear Lord, that one day we're going to die and we make we got to make sure that we're doing things that are pleasing and acceptable in your sight, no matter mm -hmm. what goes on in this evil and sinful world. We got to make sure we stay strong with you and follow you like you, the Bible, your word tells us to. We got Satan trying his best to get all he all people he can to follow him straight to hell, dear Lord. So help us to understand that, dear Lord. Keep us sound in your mind. Keep us mindful of that, dear Lord. Help us stay in your word and never give up. Mm -hmm. I pray for those once again out there, dear Lord, who go going through the terrible time of the coronavirus. I pray for them, dear Lord, yes. that yes. have to go this terrible, just have them, dear Lord, that bad time. Dear Lord. I just, it's, it's so sad what's going through the loss of life, dear Lord, and all those out here who are struggling each and every day, dear Lord, get kicked out of their homes or, or mm -hmm. lights might get shut off or anything. What be going on, dear Lord? Food, lost the shortest of food, kid got kids at home. It's so sad for them. I just pray for them, dear Lord. You have them, dear Lord. I pray, dear Lord, you be there for them. Have them, dear Lord. Have them never give up. Have them stay strong, dear Lord. Have them never give up, dear Lord. Have them never give up. Dear Lord, we just thank you once again for everything, dear Lord. We just thank you for allowing us to come together as one, dear Lord. We just pray that your word will keep on growing. For those who really want to hear the truth, Father God, for all oh, true worshipers, yes, dear Lord, yeah. we pray the word keep on growing to those and will reach those who really want to hear the truth. Yeah. We thank you for everything, Father God. May you bless us and watch over us, not just today, but all this, all this through this week, dear Lord. And keep helping us, dear Lord, to stay strong. When Satan comes around and tries to tempt us, get us to follow with, to him with his wiles. And have a key to bless, pray to faith, though, dear Lord, so we push out the party and go to the wicked. We thank you for everything, dear Lord. And one of you, we know where we be at right now to this day. Amen. And that's why we pray the prayers to you in your most of our holy name. Thank you for everything. Amen. 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 And before I leave, I'd like to say, if you'd like to leave a comment or, you know, understand something or anything like that, my website is soundteachingoftheworldofgod.com. That is sound teaching of the word of God .com. You can go in and you can click the contact button and leave all the information there. And once you leave the information there, you can uh, it, uh, put sin and come straight to me. We thank you for everything. May God bless y'all. Take care until we, uh, we talk again. Bye bye.